Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm 16 and I'm from Algonac, Michigan, a small town right across the river from Canada. During the winter, there's absolutely nothing to do around here, unless you like ice fishing. That's my boyfriend, Tyler. We've been together since seventh grade. You're a little flirt, especially in music class. We used to write notes back to each other. Yeah. My family situation is totally chaotic. Let's get her done. I've lived in 13 different houses since I was born. Hate moving. My mom is pretty unpredictable, and she can be really moody. She does her best, but I never know if she'll really be there for me. Um, my mom ended up driving drunk last night and got pulled over. I went to jail. Tyler's life has been hard, too. His dad, Butch, has been in and out of prison for most of his life. Even though Tyler and I are used to surprises, nothing could have shocked us more than when our parents fell in love and then got married. So technically, we're step-siblings, but we say that they're the weird ones because we were dating first. Even though it seems like a recipe for drama, for the most part, everyone gets along. But it's about to get a whole lot crazier around here because I'm pregnant. We're still juniors in high school, and we're not sure we're ready to be parents. So we're talking about adoption. What did you do? She cried. Uh, no, I cried for a second. She cried too, Tyler. I did oh. cry. I was so scared, and then. It's like, I got something growing in me. She got something growing in me. <laughs> and that something turned out to be a baby girl. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Me and Tyler talked about like keeping it, but there's not really a lot of good things about keeping it. Like, there is, but there isn't, you know? There's scary things about adoption, but men like parenting it. I mean, that's even scarier. Dude, how'd you learn to get pregnant anyways? Do you not use condoms? Yeah, I did. I used them when they got washed in the washing machine. And now you're pregnant. <laughs> Here's my life now. Sorry, you didn't keep it. You don't know what we're gonna do yet. If I give up for adoption, like I always say, like imagine like walking in there and like feeling it move and like it's in you and then walking out with nothing and you're just like leaving with nothing. Like you did the total nine months. Yeah. For nothing. Yeah. I don't think you're really in like a position to raise a kid. I, like how am I supposed to raise a kid when I'm a kid myself? Yeah, like, I would cry if I were you. I already did enough of that. Although our friends think adoption makes sense, my mom is pretty disappointed that we're considering it. I thought it would be different after I told you. <laughs> Just because that's what I, I would thought. hate you. No, I'll just say you would like that things would be different. Like, no, I still love you. But I know you don't agree with adoption, though, really. If well, I don't agree with it, it, you know that, so I ain't gotta state my opinion very much. So, you change your mind anyway, so it doesn't matter. And Tyler's dad was anything but supportive. I couldn't imagine giving you away. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't let your mother do it. I mean, I'll find some way. I want my daughter to have like a chance at life. And I know she'll have a chance at life with me, okay? but I just don't want her to be raised the way that she's gonna be raised. I'm gonna put out here like this. Here's my son, <coughs> 16, 7 years old. He has his baby and gives it away. Gives the kid away to some great family, which are great people. And uh, he didn't man up. You didn't man up. You wasn't the cowboy I thought you were. I don't know, what am I gonna think? I don't know what else to think. It really changes things not to have our family support. But as hard as it might be for my mom and Butch, ultimately, we're the ones who have to make this decision. What do you think that we should do? Keeping it, adopting it, those are our last two options. Well, keeping it would probably be kind of stressful. I think keeping the baby would probably ruin us. You think so? I know so. I don't think our lives are very stable to raise a child. No, like my household. My household and your household. Mm-hmm. So we even got a job when I graduated. Like who would watch it if like I went to school? Yeah. Whatever, whatever we decide to do, I just hope everybody's there back us up. I don't care if anybody's there to back us up. Yeah. Because no one else's opinion matters to me. Especially your dad. We don't really know that much about adoption though, really. Just that 
I think it'd be good though. <laughs> Any adoption would be the best option. Okay, so we've decided we're not ready to raise a child, but are we strong enough to give one away? Our parents may not support us, but we've decided to go to the adoption agency anyway to get things started. Can you tell me in your own words why you think an adoption plan might be the right choice for you? Um, I think it's the right choice just because I don't really have a stable household. Um, we're too young. We want to go to col We want to go to school. You know, go to college, mm -hmm. finish college, get on our feet, and then maybe have kids later on. You're in the driver's seat of your adoption plan. This is going to look and feel the way that you guys want it to. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to like maybe call her if I want to, or send her pictures, or send her Christmas presents and birthday presents, and um, get pictures of her and stuff. So what, what we would do when we're looking at adoptive families is we look at what's called a profile book, and mm -hmm. it's a book that they put together that has pictures about them, that shows their interests in life, and you have the ability to look through these. So I can send some of these home with you today. All right. Okay. You have to come to the place where you um, make a decision about what's right for you. Sometimes the most loving thing we can do is to be selfless and let go. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and so... Um, that doesn't mean it's easy. No. It doesn't mean that it's not without grief and without loss because I'll tell you, it will be the hardest thing that you've ever had to do in your life. I was keeping up in school oh, and actually feeling pretty good about our decision. Oh, Are you guys still thinking about that adoption thing? Yeah. Well, it's been a lot harder for me than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, Actually deciding to do it has been harder. You think you're gonna end up going through it with it? Oh yeah. Especially for sure. For sure. Once you actually hold it. I'm not it. holding her, I don't wanna hold it. I'm holding that baby when it comes out of your poop. I want to too. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the best thing, so I don't wanna be selfish. I don't wanna hold her and be like, oh I want you. This is the best thing though. But you should hold it. Could you imagine if we kept her? How know? screwed up that baby would be? And like, I, ta I talked to everybody, and they're like, dude, if I get a parent right now, I would just get an abortion. So. I would. I'm telling you right now. And I wouldn't have the strength to give it away like you guys would. Yeah. There are how many family profile books did Don give you? Yeah, there's 10 of them. I'm just going to pick one. Left is our current family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, we don't want anybody with kids, though. Unless they're adopted. They're older, I think. So that, this is the family that I really like. Brandon, Brandon and Teresa. She's skiing, mm -hmm. or whatever it's called. Water skiing. Water skiing. I think it's good for our daughter to have a stay-at-home mom too, so that way like, she's not always in daycare. I want, I want the dad to be definitely college educated. Bachelor's, master's, whatever, as long as you graduate from college. Yeah. Oh yeah, husband. He's a financial planner. So what's that? I don't even know what that is. And this would be a good, really good family, I think. I know, I really like that. I like these people. Look at that house. It's a nice house. So, what do you think we're gonna tell Dawn next time we go there? We looked at some of them and we read them and but nobody really sticks out like they do. I, I think the same way, so. With our family selected, we made another appointment to see Dawn something Butch wasn't too happy about. How do you figure it's going to be better off? Not with your own natural parent. Because I don't, can't. I don't understand. I mean, material-wise? No, no, no. Emotionally-wise. Uh, emotional, it's a stable, stable household. A stable household. So it's not moving all the time. Household. You, you make that. That's huh. your choice. Huh? How about so we keep the baby? OK, so we keep the baby. Six months from now, we can't hear. OK, the crib's in Caitlin's small little room. Oh, it ain't good you know, enough for it's no, it, You're absolutely right. It's not it's good enough, enough, not good now, enough for my kid. Not good enough for my kid. My kid deserves way better than this. Way better. Okay. You're absolutely right. Not good enough for my kid. Okay. <laughs> all that baby needs is love. love. No, that's not all a baby needs is love, Dad. Well, I, you have no I, idea I what you're talking you about. You know? I gave you a role model. You gave me a role model? You weren't even in my life for my whole life. What are you talking about? Give me a role model. You made a stupid choice and you were in prison. Give the kid some love, man. You'll and it's going it. to have plenty of love in the house yeah, that it's well, going you, to. Yeah. Plenty of it. Screw that house there, wherever it's going. Yeah. 
Screw this house. Yeah. Despite our parents' disapproval, Don came over to Tyler's house because we're ready to move forward with the adoption plan. So you took home a whole bunch of profile books, right? Yeah. And did you get a chance to look them over? Yep. Yeah, we did. Okay. Did anything stand out to you in them? Brandon, Brandon and Teresa. Brandon and Teresa. Okay. What about them stands out as the right family for our baby? Well, pretty much, I just like everything about them. Everything that I wanted, they have, pretty much. Yeah. She's yeah. going to be a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Right? And, the dad's um, going to be the provider. And, like, in my heart, it was like a feeling that you just get. Like, it's like, these are the people. So when's the soonest <laughs> that we can meet these people? <laughs> well, I, you know, they have to book a flight, so probably yeah. within, within a week or two, we can do that. If you guys are okay. up for it. Okay. Oh, I'm up yeah. for it. Okay. When we get to the Adopt-A-Family meeting, we talk about exactly what you'd like to see happen at the hospital. Okay. And Caitlin, a lot of that is up to you. When the baby is born, do I want immediate contact with the baby in the delivery room? Mm -hmm. And you're shaking your head, no, I don't. <laughs> um, so you've thought about it a little bit. Yeah, I've, I already know actually what I want to do. If I were to like even see her, I'd get a right attached, like, no, I'm taking her home with me. I would think I'd get really okay. selfish at that moment. I will tell you, I have never had somebody regret doing a hello and a goodbye. Yeah. And that is, um, that's a moment that you can't recapture mm -hmm. later on. Um, and so it's something you want to think about. Makes you want to cry. It does? Yeah. What, what part of it oh, makes you want to cry? I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Give me the kisses. Yay, puppy! Give mommy good sugars. Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!